Given some recent high-profile cases of large South African companies building up high debt levels, Lambridi said sub-Saharan countries should be worried on accumulating debts and focus more on investments that should build factories in order to create more jobs. Governments need money to invest in other in infrastructure, in schools, uh, to build new roads, etc. Um, and generally, a lot, a lot, you know, when the country doesn't have its own money, it needs needs to go out and borrow that money, and that can be sort of hugely beneficial because you could borrow money, build schools and factories, and then pay back that money uh, to the lenders uh, and uplift your uh, economy and and your community. But if that money is invested badly, so you effectively squander the money on bad projects, etc., then you have no economic uplift. You then have no taxes with which to pay back the money to the lenders. Uh, but ultimately, the lenders want to get paid back at some point. Uh, and then that will re lead you into some kind of conflict with your lenders. Uh, in the worst case scenario, you know, the IMF might come in and try to restructure your economy uh, to pay back that, that money. In addition, Lambridi says the sub-Saharan countries must know how to position their portfolios to mitigate blow-ups and add value. It's important for governments as well as the public to remain vigilant as to how, how they allow debt levels to, to get to. And these rating agencies that we often talk about, they effectively are individuals that work out how much debt a, company, a country can actually take on. And what they've been doing for the last three to four years is sounding the alarm bell on South Africa and Namibia to say, look, bear in mind your debt is getting worse and worse. So South Africa, for example, their debt has been downgraded to junk uh, status. Um, by Fitch and by S&P and Moody's are saying you know, if you don't get your house in order we are going to also downgrade you and that's just going to make the debt even more expensive and basically means that more and more of our tax revenue is going to be taken by, by the lenders. Lambridis emphasized that free cash flow yield must be taken into consideration how solvent or financially capable a company is should the need arise to access cash quickly to take care of debts or other obligations in the event the company needs to be liquidated.